So you find me here in the woodlands of the Appalachian Mountains in Pennsylvania. How cool does that sound? <laughs> really cool actually, because a week ago I was still in London. I quit my job and um, I'd rented my house out. I'd shipped my bike with motor freight across the Atlantic to Toronto. I flew in after it and here I am. So for one the clock back, a couple of years, um, I got closer to midlife. I'd had a back injury. Um, and I wanted to live my life and not live to just pay bills. I was existing really. And that, that wasn't a life. I wanted to live as much of what I've got left while I, I, I can. So I made the decision about 20 months ago to, um, yeah, to do this and, and to do it big it meant not, not just a month like when I went to Vietnam or when I went to India, it, it was to change my whole life completely. Also, I think for myself, my inner growth as a person, um, growing into my later life, shall we say, no one, no one likes that midlife thing, but yeah, well, I'm there. Anyway, um, so I had to sell some stuff, sell a car, I had to sell a motorbike, I had to redecorate my house, I had to put planning into to action, which meant maps, more maps, and a few more maps, visas, vaccinations, um, insurance, um, and that was where I was building over the last few years. Uh, I had to get my physical condition back after my back injury. I slipped two discs and I spent three and a half, nearly four years in excruciating sciatica. Now I suffer only about 20% of the sciatica pain that I used to. Um, still have back issues, they're not gone. So I spent a long time getting my fitness back. One of the key things in the preparation is sorting out my fitness. After my back injury, do I have fear? Yeah, I think for me, my biggest fear is my body letting me down. Slipping the discs again, or even rupturing my discs. That's a big fear. But to be fair, that could happen anytime. So after 18 months now of running, I completed a thousand miles literally the week before I left. So I've got my physical shape back. Um, my fitness levels are pretty good. Um, now it's the mental levels, building who I am in this mid part of my life. Also during this period, I had to prepare my bike, new parts, service, pack my life into boxes, create it up, move it into my workshop for the foreseeable future. So 690 and I, there she is, have carried me so far from Toronto, down through New York State, into Pennsylvania, down to here. Um, we spent a bit of time wandering Toronto, having a look round, um, went to Niagara Falls. Um, so the plan, the bigger plan is North America, down onto a few of the backcountry discovery routes, which are basically trails across countries, pick up the Trans-America Trail and we'll I'll follow that all the way across the US uh, until I get to kind of Seattle, I think that's Oregon. Uh, and then I'm gonna head north up to the top of Alaska. Then I'm gonna turn south, come back down, go up to Dawson City. From there, I'm gonna back into the US. Um, the plan is then to go down through uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, through the Mohab, uh, Bonneville Salt Flats, and eventually end up in California, 
where I'm going to spend some time with um, some Jeep friends of mine. Apparently we're going to go Jeeping in the Sierra Mountains, which I'm looking forward to. That should bring me to the end of my six months in the US and Canada. Um, from there, I'm going to head down into Baja, California, into, I think it then becomes Mexico. Um, then I'll take the ferry across to the mainland of Mexico and Central America, travel down to Panama. From Panama, the bike will be shipped and I'll fly across the Darien Gap to Bogota in Colombia. Depending on what time of year I get there, it might be a case of I have to meander for a while because of the seasons, but ultimately the goal is Ushuaia. When I get to Ushuaia, I'm going to have to head north. Now, it could either be Buenos Aires or Santiago. This really comes down to my funds situation. And if the funds are there, I would ideally like to ship across to Australia, travel Australia, and then up through Southeast Asia, up to South Korea, Vladivostok, and then come back on the Bam Road into Mongolia, the Altai mountain region, and then do the Silk Road through the Starns, through the Baltic, and back to Europe. But that's a bigger plan. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, we'll see where I am financially at that point. But fundamentally, I'm here in the US, and um, this is my way of life now, living in a tent, living off my motorbike. <laughs>